So hi everyone and now let's see how to turn uh, a sketch, an Inktober sketch in a pattern. Uh, so if it's the first time you are using GIMP, let's see um, how it looks, okay? It's just quite similar to Photoshop. If you are confident with Photoshop, it's quite similar, okay? So um, you should have a tool options uh, window and here are the layers. These are the, the most important important um, windows we need and of course here we have uh, the, to the, the tools so um, we just go on file and we open our image because I imported my um, ink uh, illustration uh, with a scanner of course so I say open then this is my uh, uh, image tile one I say open and now I have it here can you see it so um, as you can see we have just a layer but uh, now we have to 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 try to um, to put all the the black uh, details on a new layer and then create a, a white background so we have to separate the white from the black of course uh, the first thing to do is uh, um, you can use the zoom tool just to to give a look uh, to your details as you can see it's dirty my design can you see it so um, we have to add some contrast so uh, you go on colors brightness and contrast and you can add some contrast in this way it should be better okay and I say okay now uh, let's uh, zoom out uh, to zoom out you can just go on view and here you can find uh, whatever you wish so let's do zoom out the uh, image um, now uh, you can do uh, in this way you can use this uh, tool the select by color tool and uh, you could just select the blacks uh, I usually prefer select uh, to select the, the white and then say select inverse now the black is selected I prefer uh, to do in this way because sometimes I have uh, designs with more colors so I prefer you to use the, this process okay you, you select the white and then you say select inverse now you can say just uh, um, copy you go on edit and you say copy then you say um, paste and as you can see here on uh, the window with layers we have a floating selection and you say now to a new layer you have to um, anchor these new uh, uh, details that we copied on a new layer okay and now we have the new layer you can of course change the name if you wish I never used to put names here I'm so lazy okay now, um, I wish to show you, if I um, hide the, this uh, layer, now I have just the, the black here of this new layer, okay? So, you can just go on the um, old layer, you can just say select all, and uh, here, here you can change the colors that you can use, for example, just put the white now, so I go just here and this is the white. Um, and then you, you have many ways to, to choose the, the colors as you can see there is uh, also this kind of um, circle and you can ch choose the white here so you you do as you wish you, you choose the color then you say okay and now if I go on edit and I say fill with foreground color um, let's hide a moment this layer as you can see now we have this um, old layers just um, all white so now let's create our um, our uh, image um, as you can see let's create the repeating as you can see the new layer the new one this pasta layer is not the size of the old one it's really important to go when you are here selected to go on layer and say layer to image size this is important because uh, when we do the offset all the layers it's good that all the layers uh, have the same size okay 
Now let's zoom out. And now um, I would recommend um, to, to scale just um, uh, not very much, but it's, uh, uh, it's better to, to resize now this, uh, this shape. So you can just uh, um, select it. You can also say select or, or use this tool uh, as I did. Then you use the, the, the scale tool. It's this one. Okay, you click here. Okay, then when you click on your image, you can start uh, scaling. Um, pay attention here, the, the chain must be closed. So the proportion, the proportions are good. So let's do again because uh, I, I waited too much. Oh my God. So let's, sc let's scale. Sorry. He got crazy, my, my software, because I was too, too slow so now let's do in this way just not very much just a little okay scale it it's better to have some space here when we are going to create the offset now i anchor it okay and um you have to to leave this tool and okay now it's anchored i i left the tool of scaling and uh, went here then clicking here uh, it was the, the new, the floating image was uh, uh, again anchored on the busted layer. So now it's okay. So now we just duplicate this layer. Okay, so let's duplicate layer. On, you go here. We have two, uh, two of them here. Can you see uh, in the layers window? Um, now I uh, highly recommend to flip one of them okay because the pattern looks better if uh, um, these uh, images are not all in the same directions or not all the creatures and the girls are looking uh, in the same direction so to flip it you can just go here this is the flip tool you click and then you click on this new layer and now <laughs> It's flipped. I just hide the one uh, under and you can see this is the, the new one is flipped. This is the old one. OK, now um, uh, now we have to do the offset of one of these layers. So of these new layers layer, we have to do the offset. You go on layer transform offset this is something you can find also on photoshop and now uh, you have to put on the x half the size of your image and the same you have to do with the epsilon so um so here it's 2283 so let's put uh, uh, 1140 uh, 41 okay uh, it's uh, I can't do really the half let's uh, see what we do then uh, here we we do 1235 okay so offset so now what happened my uh, liar was uh, um, uh, I can say it is just like cutting it and um, inverting the, the, the parts and this is what happens. But you can also think about just moving in your pattern. And uh, now uh, we have these parts in the corners. This is uh, really good. Now uh, let's go on the old layer, this one, okay? Uh, as you can see, I couldn't do really the half, so it's uh, here it's not good. So you can just use the move tool, go on on the black because here if uh, it's transparent, you 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 could move the the background. So please go on the black details of this layer, and you can just move it and put it in a better way, okay? As you can see, maybe more here no not too much i don't like it maybe in this way it's good okay it looks quite good so let's zoom out okay now as you can see i moved the layer so it's better always to say layer to image size okay now it's all okay this 
pattern is now this is a pattern it, it repeats perfect okay um, so if you wish to learn also how to color this design um, with uh, GIMP you can of course follow my classes about GIMP on Skillshare um, uh, the last thing I wish to say you is uh, how to export it of course because uh, you can save it with all the layers uh, uh, as a XCF file so if you go on save you will save the image with all the, the layers of course uh, and uh, um, but if you wish uh, to um, upload this pattern on uh, Spoonflower, you have to export it as uh, uh, as a you can export it as a JPEG or a PNG. I highly recommend um, to let's give another name. Um, so let's see pattern. Okay. Uh, when you export it, um, I highly recommend to export it in uh, high resolution. So, if my computer can do it because it's really slow. Okay, so here it should be better to say 100, okay? So, in, in, in high quality. Okay, then you say export and now you will have here the pattern JPEG is um, the file that you can upload on Spoonflower. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the process and I wish you a happy Inktober month. Bye bye.